Hey guys, it's Vlad. So it's 2024. You still have your classic uh, A7 IV and you're thinking of upgrading. You probably shouldn't. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are watching this on 1080. And uh, the reason for that is that if you're on wireless and you don't have an unlimited package, then yeah, you don't want to waste all your data watching some brown kid talk about cameras. I think it's just practical. And frankly, I do not see a difference when I'm on 4K or even 2K for that matter, uh, as opposed to 1080. And I think that 4K 60 is just slightly pushing it, especially how AI has been integrating itself into smartphones i'm pretty sure how this is going to be combated is just by your phone upscaling natively that would render a lot of these 8k cameras uh useless really and in terms of the a7-4's capabilities i think it's really high up there even at 10 bit I think 10-bit should be the standard and 16-bit only if you're gonna direct the Stanley Kubrick iteration. But frankly, I think that's that should just be the de facto. But um, Ronin 4D has come out with their new sensor and it looks very appealing to many. However, with AI upscaling, this is just gonna be a paperweight. If this the same could be done with a 1080p camera from 2008 then yeah it's not gonna look good for the camera industry as a whole in terms of innovation but it could definitely save memory if that upscaling could be done in post-production or even in body and the camera sensor could just focus itself on latency or become a, a global shutter However, the problem with global shutters is that they have poor dynamic range. In terms of the iPhone's capabilities, I think I've, I've uh, declared this on my previous video, my very loud video where I'm at work and probably shouldn't be making videos on, on how I'm recording on the newest uh, model. I, I think it could pair well with the Sony, but you still have to recognize that it's a smaller sensor and you're not going to have that beautiful bokeh that we all know and love that you're seeing right now because I am using a uh, my favorite fast lens, though it's on Super 35. Now, versatility is one of the A7IV's strong suits. I'll tell you that. I have full frame lenses and APS-C lenses, and I'm going to work on a PL mount for some lenses uh, that I want to try out just for experimentation. And I think that says a lot to photographers and videographers alike. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna bring it up. Why doesn't Sony use all of its sensor? I paid for all the sensor. I wanna use all the sensor. What's going on? With that being said, I think the rest of the lineup is all right. You know, if you want something that's more video centric, you got your FX line. If you want something that's more photocentric, whatever has an R sticker right after it, uh, you know, it, they just have the right lineup and their autofocus is superb. I mean, I know that this is mainly sensor based as opposed to computational based like most phones, but it's, it's up there. And for a semiconductor company, I was expecting a little bit more with their processing power. However, it is what it is. And also is its I.O. It has its SD card input up to V90, as well as a uh, USB-C port and even uh, a micro USB. I mean, I guess some people use them nowadays. I don't know. This camera has everything going for it, except, like I said, uh, the open gate capability what happened there no uh, shutter angle the update with the shutter angle is not going to be given to this uh this poor little beast of a camera 
and we also don't have anamorphic two times or variable even and I, I shoot anamorphic every now and then and I think it'll be dope to uh, to know what I'm previewing that could all be you know fixed up with uh, an external monitor but I'd have to chuck up 500 bucks for that the a7 IV I believe has a good future for it I mean look at just uh, DSLR guides videos he's still shooting with a 10 year old camera and if that could be done I think it's uh, just up to lens choice and lighting more so than a sensor but if you have that wobble I don't know if this demonstrates it well uh, for the rolling shutter then yeah uh, but frankly I don't shoot sports or, or even action sequences I was looking at the FX6 however uh, we're late in the cycle you know I'm I mean I can't afford a Burano Jess yet I I want to hold off on that especially if even the Burano can't shoot open gate I mean what's going on this is open gate gate that's what's happening what I'm using now as my B camera is my iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's uh, it has a good log format, and frankly, uh, the five times is useful, especially if I need something that'll give me uh, a different perspective while also not breaking the bank. You know, I mean, it was it was only a thousand bucks, and I have four lenses on it and log format, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy it. And I also did uh, spend a little bit of it. And I also did cough up a few dollars on the M3 Pro. Yes, I know it doesn't have a good internal bandwidth speed, but it's good enough. It's good enough for me. And I, I like it. Uh, the display is completely different, but I'll go in depth in another video. Um, hopefully I do have time. So yeah, subscribe if you, uh, you like the video, and if you don't, don't subscribe.